Oh, greetings and welcome. Greetings and welcome. This is Jim Phillips with the Remember Veteran Grave Markers. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be trying something that we had not tried before, and it is actually a sort of a, a group opportunity to do cleaning. We generally don't do that, but this seems like a pretty good idea. We're going to be doing it over at uh, Calvary Cemetery at Section 40 on Sunday, June 23rd at 11 a.m. That's Sunday, 11 a.m. Um, as you can see, this is a, a map of Calvary Cemetery. We will be working in the section, Section 40, as you'll see here in just a second. And that is where all of the graves we will be touching on will be in that section. The access point uh, for you will be at the, um, uh, probably the best way to get there is from the Door Street entrance. That's always a good one to get there. So that's uh, some place to actually pull through and get to that point. So again, as we go there, we're going to be looking at doing flat uh, flat stones, the flat grave markers. We're going to be in section 40, as you can see that little stick there. And you can see from the looking at the uh, grounds, um, all these are flat. These are the flat stones. There's no upright headstone. They're just flat markers. And we're going to be looking for the government markers, the ones that will have uh, military name, uh, ranks, military service uh, information, and the names of the uh, soldiers, sailor, air marines, and coast guardsmen. So we'll see that. And there's a number of them over here, probably 40 to 50. Uh, we'll probably do as many as we can within the hour and a half or two hours that we're doing this. But the simple thing is we're going to be going out there with with uh, with water, with uh, soft bristle brushes, using Orvis, and helping uh, just bring these markers uh, some attention. Uh, chances are nobody's paid attention to these markers for a long time. So our time out there will be actually quite useful because we will help preserve those markers for another generation most likely. Uh, one of the markers we will see and have seen is a gentleman who died in 1944. So it's been probably 80 years since somebody actually took a look at that marker. So uh, that's a little presumptuous on my part, but that's kind of the way we are. Is that if you don't see something, you know that they have uh, nobody's been paying attention. As we come around there, you're going to see um, not only things that are, uh, are, are flat, but you're also going to see things are tilted. They're kind of wonky. Uh, and, well, and while we are not going to straighten things out, what we are going to do is make note of them and, uh, and hopefully bring them to the attention of the cemetery so that they can fix it, much like this one that you see in front of us. It's got part of its, uh, its sinking into the ground. It's right at the, uh, the level of where the, the dates would be. And that's going to be important to be able to do. So it also needs attention, so we're going to pay attention to that. The next marker you're going to see is a marker of a World War II uh, Marine Corps private who died. He was he just turned 18, and he died in the Marianas. And you'll see that in just a second. This is the reason why we do this, is to remember these guys. It was, you know, it's a life that never was fulfilled. He, he died in battle. Killed, uh, killed in action in the Marianas Islands. So we do that for him and for all the veterans. So with that being said, please like, subscribe, and uh, uh, actually um, give us a thumbs up so that we can, in fact, uh, get more uh, participation and get the word out about Remember Veteran Grave Markers. Until then, take care. God bless. Please like, subscribe, and share. And you can find us on Facebook.